another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung, and we're continuing on with our OSPF series by looking at how to change your loopback addresses to reflect the actual mask. So I know we're, we've got our two routers, two loopbacks here, and right now they are slash 32s. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to change this to a slash 24 by updating my topology diagram here. I'm also going to have to go into the configs of each router and change it at the interface level. So let's see here, we go to conf t interface loopback zero IP address 1.1.1.1 slash, whoa, thought I was on a brocade uh, foundry uh, router switch there. Okay, and I'm just gonna shut and no shut to kick it over. Gonna do the same thing on router two. So conf t interface fast, whoa loopback zero, IP address 2.2.2.2. We'll shut and no shut. Okay, let's see if it took effect on our routers. Show IP route. And let's see here. Okay, it does show it as a slash 24 on the connected. Show IP OSPF interface, let's see if that works. Okay, slash 24 loop back, okay, that's good. All right, so what do we got here? We've got all twos via 10.10.12.2, and you can see it is a slash 32 right there. Okay, so OSPF by default treats loop backs as slash 32s, okay? So it treats them as uh, a stub host. We can verify that. You go into either router, R1 or R2, doesn't matter. Show IP OSPF interface. And you can see here loopback zero is up. Network type is loopback, okay? So if it is a loopback network type, it's always gonna be a slash 32. And just to show you how it looks from router two side, we can show IP route over there. And on router two side, you can see it is advertised or we're getting it as a slash 32 as well. All right. Okay. So our goal here is to change it from a slash 32 to make it the real mask. So in our case, a slash 24. Pretty easy way to do this. I'm going to do conf t. Go into the interface itself. So interface loopback zero. Then it's IP OSPF. And you can see here we've got the network type right there. So IP OSPF network, and then we have four choices, broadcast, non-broadcast, all that stuff. We're going to change it to point to point. Point to point, and we're good there. I'm going to go back to router 2. We're going to do the same thing on router 2, so that router 2 tells router 1 the correct mask. So interface loopback 0, IP OSPF network, point to point. Exit out of there. Show IP route. Let's see if we are getting the correct thing from router one. Now you can see there we've already updated. That's because I changed my timers. I was kind of sneaky. And you can see it is now advertised as a slash 24. Pretty cool. If I want to verify this, I go into show IP OSPF interface. And we can see loop back zeros up, blah, blah, blah. And state is point to point. Network is point to point. Life is good, all right? Also notice that since I've changed it to a point to point, I've got a nice hello and dead timer of 10 and 40. We'll talk about that in a later video. But for now, let me just end it by showing you the config. So show run. Looking at the interface here. This is how it will look under the interface. Interface loopback zero, IP OSPF network, point to point. Thanks for watching.